exciting? Remember kids, when you're making your own science videos, don't memorize your lines, just read it off the script. The screen of your very own, made of wax paper. Or ad lib, that always works out so well. Yeah, let's all do it, for science. The same as yesterday. Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to take a look at the camera, and then we're going to build one. That sounds expensive. Nope. All you need is a cardboard box, some tin foil, some wax paper, and some tape. This doesn't sound like the kind of camera you were just using. We're not going to build a digital camera. We're going to build a camera obscura. Camera obscura. From the Latin, meaning dark room. Photographic cameras are based on the camera obscura. They are a little dark room. The first cameras had film inside the room. Digital cameras have a photographic sensor inside the camera where the film used to be that turns light into electrical signals. The camera obscura we're going to build will have a wax paper screen where you can see the image live. First, let's see how light works. This box is our camera obscura. This hole is the lens that the light comes in. The hole in the front of the box represents the lens of our camera. It's the only place light can get in. This thread is the rays of light that bounce off our subject and go into the lens. And this action figure is the person we're taking a picture of. There are rays of light bouncing off this action figure in every direction. However, light only travels in a straight line. As you can see, because light travels in a straight line, light from the top of the action figure has to go down to get through that hole, so it winds up at the bottom of the picture. Similarly, the light from its feet has to go up to get through that hole so it winds up at the top of the picture. The result is, inside the camera, your picture is upside down. This hole being used as a lens has to be small, because if the hole was large, then the light from this one point would be able to hit more places on the back of the camera, but that would make your image blurry. But if the hole is small, the image is in focus, but it's dark, because most of the light is kept out. What's a photographer to do? The answer was this, a lens. This is an ordinary magnifying glass. The lenses on a modern camera use several lenses to allow for focus at every distance. This one lens focuses the light to a particular distance from the lens, which is known as the focal length. Magnifying glass gathers all of the light that enters one side and bends it so it comes together. This means your image can be bright and sharply focused. Now you're going to build your own camera obscura. Get your cardboard box, tin foil, wax, paper, and tape. You'll start by cutting a small hole in one side of the box, and a wider hole in the other side. Use a pencil to poke a hole in the piece of tin foil. Then, tape it over the small hole you cut in the box. Inside the box, you'll tape a sheet of wax paper, parallel to the side you cut holes in. This will be the screen where your image will be seen. Finally, close up the box and drape a shirt or a towel over the end to keep the light out. Then your camera is ready to use. Now take your camera outside and get a unique look at the backyard. Hi everybody. These images are being made through my camera obscura. It's a cardboard box. But look, it's got all these awesome images. You can even see my tie in fabulous detail. I'm going to run around in the yard. Here I am inside of my camera obscura. Behold the wonders of nature. I wonder if I'll see any wildlife. Oh, there's something. It's the wild North American flamingo. Let's see if I can approach him. Don't be afraid, flamingo. I'm just here for science. I'm your friend. Look at all the majestic glory of the flamingo. Captured live through my camera obscura. North American Suburban Flamingo. Hey, the sun. And that's all it takes to build yourself a camera and harness the power and properties of light to give yourself a new perspective on things. For the goodness of science!
I'm going to crush the Sony Cat with only the powers of my mind. Crush I can? With your mind? Yes! Prepare to know the power of my brain inside of my head. I went to the photo lab to get some pictures yesterday. Did you? Yes, and you'll never guess who I saw. I won't even try. Cinderella. Princess Cinderella? That's right, but she was incognito, in disguise. She didn't mean for anyone to know that she was a princess. How'd you know it with her? Well, I heard what she was singing. She was sitting outside the photo lab and singing, Someday my prince will come. Well, that is funny. Uh, oh, thanks. Could have sworn it was a one hour lab. <sighs> Just say goodbye, Professor. Goodbye, Professor.